30 plus DC restaurants team up to feed troops protecting U.S. Capitol. Following deadly violence at the U.S. Capitol, over 30 local restaurants have come together to deliver meals to troops in the district during inauguration week, with thousands of troops and police officers stationed near the U.S. Capitol two weeks after deadly rioting. Over 30 restaurants have banded together to feed the men and women on the front lines as a show of appreciation. The effort began in the days after the violence and looting that took place inside the building on January 6. After two weeks, we, the pizza deputy chief executive officer Micheline Mendelssohn said her pizzeria had delivered around 4,000 pizzas to the troops. To me, it's everything, she said Monday. I think it's kind of a nice way for us to say thank you. Mendelssohn has helped coordinate the operation by making calls to restaurants and organizing hundreds to thousands of meal deliveries each day. After pictures showed we, the pizza being delivered to National Guard members inside the Capitol, she said other restaurants reached out wanting to help. I think it's been so wonderful to call all of these friends that we know and even some we don't to say, hey, do you want to help feed some people? Mendelssohn said. Gina Chersavani and the staff at Buffalo and Bergen also stepped in to help. After joining the effort, Chersavani told Vusa 9 that she has delivered thousands of bagels to the troops. Approximately 20,000 National Guard soldiers are set to be on the streets of Washington, D.C. by Inauguration Day. Many have been camped out inside the Capitol building, a site that hasn't been seen since the Civil War. The hope is that the troops will deter any possible violence that may be aimed at Joe Biden's inauguration. Robert Sanford, who was seen throwing a fire extinguisher at cops during the January 6th riots, has been identified by his knit hat, which had CFD stitched into it.